Hello everyone, this is Alar Chaudhary. Today I am going to teach about phonetics that is also called pronunciation in any language and this is also very important to learn a language so this is very important topic today so please listen carefully and try to uh, repeat these phonetics with you also okay so th the basic rule for any pronunciation is i'll explain here uh, h is never pronounced in french language like if h is starting in any word that would be silent like for example om so how we call om because h is silent here so om om means man then one does not pronounce the last letter of a word except if the following word begins with a vowel so the last consonant in a word is not pronounced except for c l f and sometimes r also for example lack but here we will pronounce lack like in the last class i told you that a pronounce like a so lack so here c we are pronouncing then cl l is also pronouncing in the last self f is also pronouncing car car is also pronounced because these are the exceptional word next point e s t d and x if they are coming in any word in the ending they would be silent okay now we will learn some greetings like how to say good morning good evening so bonjour is good morning how we pronounce bonjour bonjour means good morning then bon afre midi bon afre midi bon afre midi it's good afternoon then bonsoir 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 means good evening then bon nuit bon nuit it means good night like you can see like in the ending t is there and i told you that t never pronounced in the ending so that's why bon nuit now with the vowels how we pronounce when the vowel a appears between two consonants it is pronounced as a like for example pari because s is the ending so we never pronounced s in the ending so a between two consonants so that's why a so pari second point i is pronounced as e for example image like in english also image so image so i pronounce like e then third point e with there is a sign accent ag it's pronounced like a i'll explain and a i is also pronounced like a like uh, when e t or e r come at the end of a word then we have to pronounced is at a like a low pitch like wale because t is silent in the wale so you can see when e t is coming so it pronounce like a a a there is a between between uh, there is a difference between high pitch and low pitch so according to that we will see another example in later on then number 4 point is e then e there are two accents uh circumflex and one is uh, axograph and ai plus consonants 
are pronounced as a again low pitch like for example frere so this left hand side uh, sign on the e is there it means low pitch of a like in hindi we can say a and i a i something like that uh, then fair a i sound like a again low pitch then pair p e r e it's pair not pair okay and eth so these are some examples for low pitch of a sound a then number 5 point is e u and e are pronounced as a like a in hindi we can say like ajay so in the starting of a ajay names starting a so the sounds with e u and with e sounds like a like pn p n e u is pn i have highlighted the uh, bold and uh, underline these uh, sounds so you can understand very well the number 6 e u r e u r pronounced as r r like for example one there monter one there monter so the highlighting of the sound is r r you can practice number 7 it's e u s e e u s e sounds like use so you can see the example one dues one dues then son dues son dues one dues and son dues just remember these uh, phonetics for reading purpose and for speaking later on you will understand that okay these are the main things for reading then o a u and e a u are pronounced as o like oath because h is the silent in the starting of a word so that's why we pronounce t here so oath a u sounds like o so oath then oison 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 then number 9 o plus consonant or a u plus consonant are pronounced as o like high pitch o like for example cor 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 as is silent in the corp so cor lor another example is lor so sounds like o then next is o u is pronounced as u like jour jour so o u sounds like u then number 11 is u u is pronounced as u like we have also learned in the full, uh, alphabets u sounds like u so here sa lu salu salu means hi so salu t is silent we can't say salute so it's salu okay now after the vowels we'll see the nasal vowels like which vowels we pronounce with our nose our nasal okay so number 12 saying that a n e n a m and e m are the nasalization of the sound of o sounds like o we have to pronounce with your nose like with our nose so o o france o mane it's low pitch like o uh, we have we will learn high pitch also in the next 30 number so in 30 number 
O N O M are the nasalization of the sound of O. So this is high pitch like mo, and the upper one is low pitch like O O and O. It depends. Then next is number fourteen. I N I M A I R A I M are the nasalization of the sound of a n like sounds like a n like ensto empacio me pe fe so the sounds should be like a n a n like high pitch a n okay next is number 15 U M, uh, there is a mistake. U N and U M sounds like U, uh, like U. Uh, U N also uh, a word. U N means one. So how we pronounce this? U, U, U. It should be the uh, sound should come out from your nose like U. Uh, okay. Like other tips for uh, these pronunciations. So number sixteen, you can see, O I is pronounced as Ua. Like for example, Jua, Mua, Uazo. Okay. So O I sounds like Ua. Then number seventeen, U I. U I is pronounced as Ui, Ui. So Like nui, for example, nui, pui, and sui, nui, pui, sui sounds like ui. Now with the consonants, how we pronounce with the consonants? So when the letter s appears between two vowels, we pronounce it it as j, like a muzon, z sound. And if double s is there. Then we pronounce like s, poisson. So there is a difference between if single s is coming between two vowels. That time we pronounce as z, like amuson. And if two double s are coming between two vowels, then we pronounce as s, like poisson. Number two, ch. Ch is pronounced as sh, sh, like Shankar. So here there is a example, cheval. Cheval means it's a horse. Then number three, C plus A O U is pronounced as k. Like if C and then after C, if A O U is coming, then C pronounced like k. Like calm, cool air, cuisine. Calm means Calm, cool air. Cool air means color. Cuisine, cuisine means kitchen. Okay, then C, and then after C, if it is coming E I, then it sounds like S, like garçon, desu. But there is a condition. She should be. With the uh, S marking below. Okay, then uh, C plus A O U are pronounced as S as I told you earlier. Like police, Susi, Franci, Garçon, Desu. So S sound. Okay, number four point is G plus A O U. If they are coming with G, sounds like G. G like guard, con, condol, wag, and if G plus E and I are coming, or J plus A O U are pronounced as J, like saj, rozir, jon, zua. So these are the difference, and also zuzmo. Here, here are the like G is pronounced as 
the letters su like in the word pleasure pleasure like in english also pleasure is a sound then number 5 gn gn is pronounced like ne ne like for example gyanne montanne gyanne means to uh, win or montanne means mountain mountain number 6 point is il il is i to l is pronounced as y like for example taiye crayon taiye crayon means a uh, pencil box then fie fie means a girl f i w l e so i w l pronounced as y so fie except in the word will will means city so will pronounce like full like i w l we pronounce as l so this is exceptional case rest of them they are y sound okay so i hope uh, you understand very well if you have any query then you can write it down in the comment box okay i hope you enjoyed this lesson thank you so much